here we are, November 16th, about eight weeks into the project, and this is completion day. Outside colors, we chose a nice bright teal out of the 50s with a white trim. It makes that white really pop. Reminds me of a Miami Beach house out of 1950s. All nice hurricane windows throughout. Garage door is gone. Remember we did a bedroom in here. Went through the front. Did a white pickled wood floor throughout. This used to be a closed in kitchen here. A lot of dark wood. Opened all this up, put in a support column here and a support beam up above to support that roof line that was a supporting wall that we removed. All new windows throughout. There's your open kitchen. It's a nice open area here now, just flows beautifully. Did the uh, shaker cabinetry. Nice granite tops. Stainless steel fixtures. Nice turquoise glass tile backsplash, kind of brings a little color in here. New fixtures throughout the house. Then the bathroom that we added and how that turned out. Fit a nice pedestal in there. Tile floor also brought that up the wall, included a nice solid glass enclosure for the shower. Five eighths thick, tempered. We got the dual rainforest shower heads, his and hers, with the individual mixer valves. Did a stone floor in the shower. So there you have the master bath. This is the nook area that I walk through here. Let's bring you back for a minute, looking in from the living room. That's the new bathroom and this is sort of a nook area. This pickled floor runs throughout. And this is the added bedroom. It's a nice size, nice bright window. Good closet space. Also use this room for the laundry. We've got a nice closed in area with louver doors to hide the washer and dryer. And then a utility closet here where we did a tankless hot water heater. Nice new fuse panel. 150 amp. Coming back out from the opposite side of the room, there's that open view. Standing back in the nook area and just opened up that common area completely. This really flows nicely now. And this is a floating island, really, that acts as your 
additional cabinetry and sink area but gives you that open feel without any dividing walls to designate that kitchen from the front door again walk in you have the floating island sink beautiful picture windows out back closet space in here too there's a lot of closet space in this house as you come through new bath use that same tile on the floor in here did a freestanding vanity Come back. This is a nice deep bathroom. It's about 11 feet deep. You've got an oversized tub with a glass penny tile surround. Cola fixtures. Cubby storage right here it's from the original cottage. And now you have your back bedroom, which would be second bedroom. This one has sliding doors off to the beach. Again, all these doors and windows are new PGT Hurricane. Nice closet space in here. Nice retro fan. All the ceilings in this house have been pulled down and redone with knockdown. Again, the pickled flooring throughout. Come into bedroom three. Nice closet space in here. The floors continue. And there you have the inside. From the bedroom hallway view, there's your open kitchen living room area. The ceilings have a nice semi shine to them. Gave it a little bit of a sheen, give it dimension. And those ceilings were done throughout the whole house. In this family area, you have your open beams. And let's take a view from this side. There's that kitchen. And we'll go out back and take a look at this beautiful color. Look at that ocean. And there's our Mexicano turquoise house with popping pure white trim. Here, the outdoor shower we put in matched the fence to that along the property line. Put in a nice new fixture, starfish for a handle. Also, brought that stone tile out here just for a little floor. So there we have it. That's your beach cottage remodel. Go 
back to the first video and it's just mind-boggling what has happened here in the last eight weeks. Nine weeks. <clears throat> it even surprises me. This will be a bar area in the front of this island. That granite comes out 13 inches, which gives you knee room to get in there with the bar stool. from the front door. A little dot. Let's see if we can get better light over here. This angle right here. Close this bedroom door. And there's your new bath at the end of the run. Well, that's it. Over and out. On to the next one.